I'm gonna die though. Let's try again. Of course. You'll be fine. First you don't succeed. Dust yourself off and fry again. Dip your potato chips in ranch dressing, ranch dressing. How do you feel about the Canadian treat Nanaimo bars? They're, they are fine. I haven't really had them very often. I'm gonna slash to spark the ground. Done. And I'll play 100% OJ if you die. That game is a dedicated community, man. It also has a dedicated community manager who constantly uh, watches our games when we play and tweets us, which is really cool, actually. Okay, he's gonna get a chicken now, right? Chicken victory didn't happen, though. Oh. Nick, how do you feel about pants? Necessary evil? <laughs> I like pants. Sometimes you just, you know, don't want to wear them, but... I don't, I never experienced that, you know? People who love living nude, stuff like that? I don't really, I'm not into that. Cover your shame. <laughs> Got nothing to be ashamed about. Uh, what about brake flakiness? I don't Whoa. Even know what that means. So this guy doesn't know brake flakiness. Bread flakiness, I guess. Mm. I like bread flakiness. It's positive. Yeah, yeah, I'm for it for the most part. Uh, this guy's not so bad, actually. Probably will die this time, but next time I'll beat him. I bought the most expensive thing from the armor shop. Yeah, it's just useless. It uh, it makes a spark, but it only does it when you're at full health, so it's like not gonna be used 95% of the time. It's alright. <laughs> That's really funny, actually. I bought it. Now I have it. Whoa! He gets faster. Nick. I'm fighting this fucking guy from Kiss or something right now. Psycho Circus. Yeah, he's really hard. He's got a whip and he wears it over his head all the time. He does like a lasso move. NL, how do you feel about socks and how do you respond to the accusations that they're wannabe gloves? They're totally. I gloves. really like. I like socks. I don't like being in bare feet because then I step on stuff. Yeah, same. People I would are always be more like, likely to not wear pants but have socks on, actually. Yeah, I know that's like, people consider that like hilarious. It's like the the total dad image of like a dude in his <laughs> tidy whiteies <laughs> with just socks on but no pants. That's pretty comfortable. I can get down with that sometimes. It's called the Walter White. Yeah, that is the Walter White. You're you're correct. Okay. Um, so I'm not gonna fight that guy again for a moment. Let's go to oh, Acid yeah. Castle now. Yeah, you're on uh, Plague Night, the Explodatorium. Yeah, let's go to the Explodatorium. We're on the same level then. I'm not going to the underwater world. Socks are great until your dryer eats them. If you step in liquid with a sock, it's like hell. Yeah, I agree. Oh, that's... Yeah, well, why do you freaking have liquids all over your floor? Like, that's something you should be taking care Sometimes of. Sometimes you got liquids on your floor and you can't help it. Chris! I -O -I -O -I -O -I -O -I -O. Up down to the side. Welcome to the Lion Pride. Thank you very much for the subscription. Did you know... I don't know if you followed Kate's raid last night, but we we raided Bear Taffy, or not Bear Taffy, Bear, Hug. Bear Taffy raided Kate. We raided Bear Hug. Yes. Did you did you watch that? Or did you I go didn't back partake. To I actually went to back to SGDQ at that. That's point. That's what I was thinking, and that's fine. Uh, but Bear has this. Well, Bear Hug, sorry, has this cool thing on his stream called Bear Bucks, and it's basically just like a totally bullshit like text based RPG. Like a monetization system. Yeah, for nothing. so the more you watch Bear's Bear Hug stream, the more Bear Bucks you get. And then, uh, like, it, it keeps track of your hours in the chat. And then, uh, like, if something what? amazing happens on stream, he'll give, like, everybody Bear Bucks. And then there's things called arenas. And in the arena, it's basically just dice rolls. But you choose how many Bear Bucks to bet. And then, you know, if you win the arena, you get X number of Bear Bucks, and the other people get, uh... You know, they lose their yeah. bear bucks. I actually have seen another streamer do that too, and he also did a thing where he had like a counter that said how many subs he had to get by a certain amount of time. And I was like, this is like the dark side for me a little bit. I mean, the bear bucks thing sounded fun, but it could also get bad real fast. We're in the next week. Lion bucks, man. Okay. I like it. I'll just sell pebbles from the quarry. You have to mine them though. They cost real money. They cost real money. You gotta buy the equipment and you gotta buy the time on the land to mine them. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize those spikes would kill me. But that makes sense because, like, other spikes in the game totally, you know, murder you. 
This is great having a distance attack now. I take back what I said about the spark. It's actually really good. I thought the most expensive armor did nothing. It's not armor. Oh, you got like... It's like a, a shovel little... attack. Oh, dude, that's cool then. I got I got the second most expensive armor, and it allows me to have this like charge attack that I like basically don't use. Sparks and Al, how do you feel about chocolate bars with bacon bits in them? You know, I, I, I could probably get down with it. I, I don't really eat chocolate bars, though. Because, again, I've, I've ex <gasps> expressed my There's a Totoro. There is a Totoro. Yes, you're you're not wrong. Wait, I did I preference. say it really badly? I well, didn't... no, that's just, uh, I don't know. I said it the way I think it said. Oh, okay. You said it the way you think it said. I'm not Guillermo <laughs> del Totoro. You know, so... <laughs> I also do like that thing where, you know, when I'm pronouncing a word that's not in my native language, I really harp into it. Yeah. You know, Totoro! That, that's what that I mistook as. I thought maybe I did it, like, really badly, so you were, like, saying it extra emphasized to emphasize how badly I said it. No, no, no. I, that's just, that's my own personal, okay. you know, thing to deal with. They're really angry, though. I wish they were happier like the real ones. <laughs> I've never seen um, my neighbor, Totoro. A great movie. Well, I like yeah. all of them. I've, I've heard that it's a it's a great movie. Can I get a double jump at some point? Possibly like one of the armor types, maybe. <gasps> Can't get up there. What happened? I died. That's what I figured. What'd you die to? <laughs> NL Orny Orny only eats foods that are organic, locally grown. Yeah, confirmed. That's true. I had some uh, locally grown cashy Goline Crunch this morning, <laughs> uh, and then, you know, I went down to my local Nature Valley and picked up a, a case of uh, local Nature Valley granola bars made with real Vancouver Canucks. Oh, so I just realized, by the way, in case you didn't, you know, realize this, the rats uh, explode. Oh yeah, I know. It's not so good. You can also, you know those uh, <gasps> syringes? Oh, or not, the, pits. The, the beakers, you can actually bounce them up. With your yeah, shovel. Yeah, I've been doing that, but there's a surprise pit after a checkpoint that I'm not so happy about. Did you reach that point yet? I have not. Alright, when they're dropping beakers at you, eventually watch out, because there's going to be some blocks that break apart. And you're not going to want to be under there when that goes on. Oh, yeah. It's a I'm, whole bunch of shenanigans I I might, and goings on. I think I might have been there. Oh, Speaking geez. of nuts, how do you feel about pecan pie? I'm not really a pie guy, because I've expressed my preference for salty snacks. I like pie. Yeah? Can't eat nuts, though. Most of them, anyway. What's your pie of choice, then? Uh, I like cherry pie. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's probably the best Warren song, too. Yes, it's nice and American and all of that. Um, how do I get up there? Hey, wizard guy, you want to come down? I'll bounce off your head. You didn't give me any freaking wall chickens? Are you kidding me? Of course not. Get over here. Come on, man. What do you think of dill pickle flavored sunflower seeds? It sounds fucking delicious. Yeah, I would have that. It sounds great. How could I say no? I'm a fan of vinegar stuff in general. Yeah, dude. Vinegar. Vinegar is a delicious uh, base. I've even gone so far as to dip Italian bread in just some vinegar, some balsamic vinaigrette. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It's not that weird. That's how, you, that's how you know the restaurant's legit, right? They give you the bread and the, the olive oil. oil and yeah, the, <laughs> you yeah. got it. I've, I've been there. That can really make a meal, actually. I kind of want that right now. Oh, shit. This is awesome. There's a wizard. He's throwing shit everywhere, and you just got to keep juggling his wizard stuff. Oh, you don't have to do that. Oh, I liked you, though. You could also just bounce on his head for 100 years. Okay, that's where I'm going now. Oh, bad damage. Actually, I don't even know if he's a wizard. He could just be an alchemist. Yeah, he seems more like an alchemist type, but he does have kind of like the, the standard wizard garb on. You know, the hat in particular. Garb, yeah. What's he drinking this time? Go to a Greek restaurant and they give you like the, the pita with the garb on the side. And I slab a garb. Why not? Oh, exactly. How do you feel about feta cheese, Nick? Not a fan. Really? Yeah, I, I think a lot of people kind of don't like that I'm not a fan of it because it seems like it's very liked as a cheese. I I can understand being picky about feta cheese because it's, it's you know different than your average like a like a cheddar or something. Um, I'm also kind of particular about like blue cheese or like anything with like mold on it. 
Mm. No, is not that. No, I know though. it's not that, but it's like All a right. sharp kind of tangy, extra tangy one. Yeah, that's goat what I like. Goat cheese as well. I don't know. I'd... Oh, I really like uh, like me some goat cheese. I think cheese. it's too much for me. I have a, a bad palate. Well, it's not a bad palate. It's, it's just unrefined. A... Well, perhaps, or perhaps just a different uh, different value set, you know? What is freaking lobster and bacon chips? That sounds fantastic. It sounds amazing, yeah. I don't think that exists, but I want some. Freaking Mita the Baneful Queen is here, Nick. Oh, you gotta light the windmill on fire. Yeah, I'm looking for it. You have like two hours of torch, you should be able to do it fine. <laughs> yeah, never really. I, that's still something that feels like like a weird design choice to me, is the, the torches in Dark Souls 2. As much as I like Dark Souls 2, I'm like, why do these exist? Oh, I figured it out, but I don't want to go down that trail. Why? did? Because it, it allows them to keep levels dark. No, because they took out the lighting system at the last damn second, and they never got... Oh. They never made a reason for that system to still exist, so they just left mm. it in. Okay. I can understand that. Might be the... Final boss, well not final, but it might be a boss here. I hope this game never ends. Uh, when you beat four knights, I think it tells you you're halfway through. Okay, I can deal with that. I kind of hope it had like 400 knights, but I'll deal with that too. That would just be nuts, man. It's a Kickstarter for you, you can just keep adding to it forever. <laughs> Matthew Swagger designed half the game, apparently, so. Hey Swagger, can you make them make more levels, please? Yeah, I heard you're, like, really good friends with the developer. Just make them, like, at least quadruple the size of the game for us. I won't pay anything extra, but I'll be ha very happy. No, it should you. just be free DLC. Yeah. <laughs> if the Octodad guys can do it, then why can't you? Oh, I get it now. These Jelly Knights come and break the platforms right out from under you. Excuse me? Watch out for Jelly Knights is all I'm saying. Shovel Knight. Jelly Knight. Ugh. Plague Knight's kind of interesting. Oh, you already mine. passed all the Jelly Knights, then. Yeah, yeah. Didn't give me any kind of warning. Jelly Knight's not even a problem, man. Yeah, they broke the platforms out from under me, though. And now, why isn't Bayonetta 2 out for... Her, or out yet? I wish I knew, man. For PS4. Because the last time I checked, it is after March 2013, so... It's fun. Maybe it is out. Maybe it's out and it's Frog Fractions too. That game is going to show up when we least expect it. That's why I'm trying to keep my defenses high at all times. Yes, and your expectations too. Oh yeah, well it's going to be the best game ever. Best educational game. Edutainmental game. <laughs> Edutainmental. <laughs> you have a problem? No. Oh, come on. They're gonna make a new Doom game eventually? Because they keep talking about that, and then it just doesn't really materialize. I thought they, didn't they announced Doom 4 at E3? I... I don't know, maybe? Chad, did they announce Doom 4 at E3? I thought I heard something about Doom 4. I know I heard about Doom 3 and the Oculus stuff, but that was that was ages ago. I haven't had a good monster closet in a while. You like, uh, you like the Doom series, Nick? I do, actually. I'm a big fan. I've been with it since <laughs> the beginning. I killed Plague Knight. Oh, grass. Yes! What's with the bedrock texture from Minecraft at the bottom of this? I like your bedrock. <laughs> it's not Doom 4, it's Doom. Okay. Oh, we're rebranding it now. Yeah, or is it's it just like the eighth re release Doom of. Uh... It's just Doom 4. Yeah. Alright, my bouncing balls right now are really helping me out big time. Your bouncing balls? Like hitting them back at him? No, I got my own balls that I brought to the fight. Oh, okay. He doesn't know what's up with them. I just keep throwing them and they bounce around and whack them in the big old schnoz. And Al, what do you think about Doritos Roulette? Where one in seven Doritos <laughs> oh, yeah. is super spicy. <laughs> I heard I about that. I think that that is incredibly shrewd marketing from the Frito-Lays Corporation and they know their audience very well. It's going to be very successful. Because eating Doritos is not really about them being delicious. Well, it's a it's power about play. Them it's a danger move. <laughs> What? I think eating Doritos is like about them being good enough. And I really like sweet chili heat Doritos. They're delicious, but. Yeah, yeah meal ticket. Halfway, um, mofo. So I definitely think that if you. Uh, 
if you mar well they exist right like I, I think you could totally buy those for like a 12 year old's birthday party and they would be like oh who's gonna get the super spicy one that's my feeling about uh about doritos roulette they i would eat it nine mean nine minutes in doritos heaven go in the closet and eat some doritos <laughs> by themselves nl how do you feel about mayo based salads you having a, a rise again having they a canceled giggle, that game Oh. There's dudes all over the map now, they all want to fight me. What's this? Yeah, those guys Three are really gems. annoying. Oh shit, an auto-scroller level. What's the auto-scroller level? I just found a diamond there, or some kind of gem over uh, one of my castle lands, and I went to it, and it just brought me to an auto scroll level. Oh, I fucking hate this Baz, man. Oh my god. Where'd you go next? Well, I'm fighting the Baz! He's too good, though! Where's the Baz at? He's in, he's a freaking one of the dudes walking around. Oh, okay, gotcha. That's, okay, that's this. who I was trying to fight that one time, and I didn't have any success with that. It's pretty darn good. I'm not going to go to the gem levels. I'm just going to keep fighting these dudes. Oh, there's a lot of treasure here, but I'm not going to get it. Damn. I bet I only get one shot at this, too. All right, well, that was fun. Nine minutes in Doritos Heaven sounds like the saddest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Alright, well, when you put it that yeah. way... I don't know. I've seen SGDQ chat for a few minutes. That's even worse. <laughs> yeah. They're just joking, Nick, though. They're not joking. Jokes can't hurt. Whenever I see stuff like that, it always reminds me of that, um, that comic where... Oh, I fell. Where... The dude walks up and he like says something stupid, and then the the guys that he's talking to are like, "Go away, you idiot!" And then he's like, "Haha, jokes on them. I was trolling." Like that's that's what <laughs> forever that alone. It's like <laughs> right. yeah, it's like I'm not really an asshole. I was just pretending to be. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Jokes on you. <laughs> that's actually one of my favorite like things to remember on the internet. Uh, is is that comic? It makes brightens up my day whenever somebody says something stupid and is like, "Well, I was just joking anyway." <laughs> okay, okay, whatever, dude. As long as it suits you, whatever you want. No, no, I can't stop you from acting like a dickhead online. You're right. Sometimes I wish I could for a minute, but then I realize it's probably not a rational thing yeah, to think. Yeah, just okay. Yeah, life time marches on, you know. Sure does. All right, I beat one of these dinguses that was hanging out over my castle. It's the one with the boomerangs. So many people asking me about pickled chips. They're delicious. Oh, we're friends now. Reese or Rise and Shovel Knight are friends. He gave me some music. Thank you. Ah! Find a lady with blades. Uh, where's Blade Lady at? Well, she's on the freaking map. Every every person you ask about is on the the map. I don't have a Blade Lady. You have a Blade Lady, Nick. I assure you. I don't think I have a Blade Lady. I looked. Take a look around. Ain't nobody home. Maybe a loser, but at least I'm not alone. Did you guys get? Gob in, in the US, or is that an exclusively Canadian thing? I don't think I know what that is. You know, Gob that I hear you calling, calling no. for me out in the night. Sounds fantastic, but I never heard it. Uh, well, no, it's just a Canadian, like, it, pop, yeah, pop punk, you know. Canada was really a hotbed for, for big pop punk bands. Some 41, Simple Plan, Gob oh, is another ASP, one. ASP, you mean? AS ASP? ASP, is it Simple Plan. Anti social pop or something? Oh, yeah. Can't keep up. What the fuck is Gob? It's not Job, okay? Hall of Champions. I want to go there. Mary, fuck, avoid. Phil Fish, Tomo, or Gone Home. <laughs> I think I just paid a shitload of money to go into a I guess building. Uh, I would avoid Phil Fish, fuck, Gone Home, and Mary Tomo? Yeah, same. All right, that's fair. Well, it is six o'clock, uh, right on the button there. Oh, CK two is a sale now, Nick. Calvin there you go. Pine? It's a perfect, perfect opportunity for you to pick up some Crusader Kings. 
Um, why don't you take a second and pimp your channel, though, while I look at the, uh, the new deals. You Not, you know, the new deal, but you know what I mean. Oh, you mean we didn't travel back in time just now? No, we're not in the Great Depression. That's good news, also. I don't know. Maybe the new dot-com bubble will burst. Who knows? Alright, mm -hmm. so I'll pin my channel now. Uh, hey, everybody! <laughs> I'm Nick. You can find me over on YouTube.com slash RockleySmile, where I do a new Indie Impressions video every single day. have for over 800 days straight, and will continue to do so till the end of time. Uh, or until I die, whichever comes first. Uh, we've also got some other stuff over there, some Let's Play videos, we've got some weird machinima-style videos, there were some Watch Dogs goofiness, there's Pokemon Orange, there's me and Rob talking about anime, all kinds of weird silly things. So you can also find me on Twitter at @rockleysmile. If you want to follow me, you'll know when I go live on Twitch. And then, of course, you can also consider following me on Twitch, uh, so that way it should notify you properly. Uh, and thank you to everybody that did that today, and everybody that subscribed, and uh, thank you to the virus again, as always, for the gift, and um, and also for, um, damn, now I can't remember the other person who bought the game for me. Well, thank you to you two. <laughs> the end. Was it Andarius? No, that was a uh, donation. All right. No, that well, was as always, thanks for watching. The Northern Line Live Super Show. I hope you enjoyed it. We air we air every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday from uh, three to six Pacific, six to nine PM Eastern Standard Time. Uh, if you're interested, you should follow the stream right now. We did have a milestone. Uh, we crossed sixty-five thousand followers on Wednesday stream. I forgot to mention it, but uh, your support is very much appreciated. We might even be able to hit sixty-six if uh, you know literally all of you click the button right now. Apart from that, uh, you can also subscribe if you're interested. You get five dollars. Well, no. But you don't get $5 a month. I don't get $5 a month either. We're in the same boat when it comes to that, you know, binary distinction. But uh, for $5 a month, you get the opportunity to play with us on once weekly subscriber streams. We'll be doing a global offensive stream on Sunday because we did TF2 last week. Uh, warm, fuzzy feelings for directly financially supporting the channel. Sweet emoticons, the channel will hopefully be nice to have to show off. Plus, you get to join the club consisting of cool people like today's subscribers. It's Justice HD, Rebirth for Wii U. You, you know, I hope you weren't trying to send a message there because I have no pull with Nintendo. Uh... Akinaro, Azura-san, Stupid Damage 69, Kazu Reaper, Love 2K, Spoonie Bob, Zealous Compassion, and Chris. Ayo, 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 ayo. As always, uh, thank you very much for the subscriptions. Thanks to everyone who subscribed over the day, over the course of the month, and over the course of the lifetime of the channel in general. A big thanks to those of you who watched us today, whether on YouTube and Twitch, and or YouTube or Twitch, I should say. And a big thanks to those of you in particular who watched without ad block as well. As always, uh, YouTube.com slash Northern Lion for VODs and twitch.tv slash northern line if you're watching on YouTube and want to watch live. I'd say that's basically it. Why don't you uh, come on out uh, to twitch.tv slash bear taffy, B-A-E-R underscore taffy, and uh, watch him play whatever he's... You know what? He's probably live right now. I'm going to go check it out. Twitch.tv slash bear taffy. He is not there. See, I'm being... Shit. See on vacation. <laughs> oh, Bear is out of town until June thirtieth. That's oh that's shit. Well, problem. let's find that we can raid somebody else. Um, I remember Biznap by the way, it was Merciless Merc that bought me the other day. Ah yes, Biznap is streaming. He is grinding weapon upgrades in Ratchet and Clank going commando. That sounds fucking riveting. <laughs> in any case, twitch.tv slash Biznap. Go raid him. And uh, tell him Cobalt Streak saying you. It'll really mess with him. But as always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you on Sunday slash Monday. Maybe I'll do some Meat Boy runs for a bit anyway. You can also hang out on Nick's stream and watch some Meat Boy runs. Biz snaps. Grinding isn't enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I ran ads and... Uh, yeah, I'll run some ads too. I'm no longer live. Ads... Did you go to the Hall of Champions? I don't think so. I had to pay a bunch of money to get in there, and I just walked around. There's, like, pictures of everybody everywhere that I guess contributed on Kickstarter or something. Mm. Oh, that's really cool. And there's a bunch of treasure in here. And I don't know what the overall point of it is, though, because I seem to just keep finding rooms with nothing in them. So, I don't know. This Ratchet & Clank going commando game is a pretty sweet frame rate. I can't tell if you're being sarcastic or not. No, for real, it's okay. It's remarkably smooth. Is Going Commando the one? Is that with a PSP one that they ported to PS2? I think that is correct. 
That's remarkable right, so if I can remember that. <laughs> the raid has arrived, and Bisnav brought a smile to his face. That's, oh, that's sweet. There you go. I love when Bisnav smiles. <laughs> that's not even a joke. It's just uh, I, I was picturing like a picture like of him on a poster or something when Bisnav yeah, smiles. I'm just smiling at it, and he's smiling. <laughs> Everybody's smiling in a big old circle. This guy's got a great route for this card racing moment. Anyway, I'm going to bounce. All right. Good See stream, and I'll, you know, I'll talk to you later. No restaurant review time. I don't think that's happening tonight, unfortunately. YouTube dashboard updated. Oh, I've got to see this. I think Meat Boy will go on sale for more than it is now. Uh, I don't know what it's on sale for right now, actually. Uh, cheapest I've ever seen it was like about three bucks. So if it's like that cheap, then probably go get it. Let's, uh, let's go check. Oh, we've got new flash sales. Alice Madness, Return, Strike Victor, Trine 2, and Crusader Kings. Um, personally, I probably wouldn't buy any of those. But that's just me. I did not like Alice Madness Returns very much. I liked the American McGee's Alice quite a bit, but that one did not do it for me. Super Meat Boy is five thirty nine. That's a good deal. You should get it for five thirty nine. The odds of it getting cheaper than that are pretty... Slim, I would say. Let's look at the YouTube dashboard real quickly. I'm sorry, this is just going to be still frame for a moment while I look at this. Oh shit. What is going on? Creator Studio is the new home for all your creator tools, including the video manager, dashboard, and analytics. Did you seriously just make there be another step between me getting to my goddamn video manager? Playlists are in the guide. They were always in the guide. Thank you, YouTube. You totally did. You made there be another step. Awesome. My analytics page. Strike Vector's really good. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I guess I haven't played it, so I don't know. I was just passing judgment like a dingus again. Uh... Okay, and don't, don't get why this is better. This is, at best, a lateral update. At worst, pointless. But that's what I've come to expect from Google. Thanks. Thanks for that. Well, might as well have at least found out about it on stream, so now I'm not going to be surprised later. Uh, I don't know what to do with this damn place. I'm going to go to the... No. How do I leave this castle? Is there a way out? It feels like I'm locked in. Does anyone know how to get out of the, the Hall of Champions at all? I'm still angry about the stupid bar that clings to the top of my video windows. Wait, is that a thing? No. Yeah, I know ghosts hate light, but like... What do I do? I thought I went back to the start. I didn't think there was anything there. You have to hit the light orbs with your shovel to hit the ghosts with beams it shoots out. So I can't leave until I hit all the ghosts with enough light to kill them. kind of lame. Alright, I guess I'll kill all the ghosts, because I don't want to just, like, waste my time having come up here. Hey, ghost. Come on over. Oh, it's gonna be like this, huh? Okay, it does actually kill them, at least. That's good. Man, I can't believe I couldn't figure that out. It's actually pretty obvious. So I just gotta make sure I get all the ghosts, and then we'll be good. Ah. Hey, the Super Metroid run isn't today, right? It was, like, tomorrow or the next day. I don't know, this AGDQ seems to go on forever. 
Uh, so I don't know when the hell anything is. Oh, look at that. You see all their pictures. That's a lot of work drawing all that sprite art. It's pretty damn cool. <laughs>